Hi friends. In this video, we will learn about Arduino, you know, R3 board. Just basics. So, this is our Arduino, you know, R3 board with a microcontroller of Atmel company, whose specification is At Atmega 328P. So, first challenge is how to connect this Arduino you know, you know board with our system this Arduino you know board generally used to come along with this cable so we didn't, don't need to worry how to connect this Arduino you know board with our system just uh, match the pin and connect it and another is our USB cable just we have to connect it our computer system Okay. Now we can now we can see our two LEDs in our Arduino Uno board are glowing. First one is green, which is showing that uh, now power is coming in our Arduino Uno board. And another one is uh, orange, which indicates that power is in uh, right now is in pin 13. Okay. My next is, next point is how we will interface our microcontroller with our computer. So, to integrate our microcontroller with our system, we have a very good software which is generally available on Arduino, you know, website. We can download it and it's free also. So, just have a look on Arduino, you know. R3 board interface so I can I think uh, you have very good so friends here is a very clear picture of Arduino you know board R3 in this picture you can very clearly see each and every component of Arduino Unibot R3 so here you can see microcontroller USB port DC supply port these are all digital pins and log input pins power input output pins our crystal oscillator and so so these are the technical specification of Artmega 328 generally our Art, Artmega 328 microcontroller operating voltage is 5 volt and its DC input voltage which is recommended is 7 to 12 volt but the voltage limit up to which we can take the power supply is 6 to 20 volts in our microcontroller we have 14 input output pins out of which 6 are used for PW output PW output means pulse width modulation pins and also here we can see these are from 0 to 13 these are our input output pins and uh, we have uh, 6 PWM pins pulse width modulation pins see those pins who have some some curly marks in front of them they are used for pulse width modulation pins what are the number of those PWM pins are pin number 3, pin number 5, pin number 6, pin number 9, pin number 10 and pin number 11 are used as pulse width modulation pins. So what are the number of analog input pins? So these are analog input pins. Number of analog input pins are 6. That is from A0 to A5. And 
what about uh, what is the current output for input output pins in our atmega 328 is 20 milli ampere and current output of 3.3 voltage pin is 50 milli ampere this is our 3.3 volt output pin from this pin 50 milli ampere used to come as an output and what is the flash memory of our Atmega 328 microcontroller it is around 20, 32 kb 32 kb out of which 0.5 kb used by bootloader and uh, SRAM means static RAM static RAM for our microcontroller is 2 kilobyte and EEPROM EEPROM electrically erasable programmable read only memory it is approximately 1 KB it means 1 kilobyte and the clock, width, clock speed at which our microcontroller operates is 16 megahertz and length width and weight of our microcontroller is length width and weight is 68.6 mm length 53.4 mm width and weight of 25 gram so let's move to our next slide this slide is about for Otmega pin map 328 pin mapping for this uh, I have to show you our microcontroller so our microcontroller is here and if you would put like this this microcontroller will be same like this so this is our pin number 1 from 1 to 14 and this is our pin number 15 from 15 to 28 and what are the different functions of our pins is de described in this powerpoint this slide so if you will see our arduino uno board these are the different pins total 28 pins with different different specifications uh, with the different pins are used for different purpose so from here we can see from pin number pin number 1 is used for reset pin number 2 is for reading receiving purpose data receiving pin number 3 for transmission of data pin number 4 pin number 5 pin number 6 are used for as an input output pins and our pin number 7 and pin number 8 are used for intake of power supply and ground and pin number 9 pin number 10 those are used for these are also used for input output pins but along with that they are used for to connect it with our oscillating crystal or crystal oscillator and uh, in pin 11 and pin 12 you can see they are also used as an input output pins in some it's different different purposes like uh, connecting it with the meso and miso okay from here you can see all the pin mapping and uh, to know more, more about each and every point of the pin you can go through the website of Arduino Uno ok let us move to our next slide so what are the electronic component in used in our boards are you can see 
reset button first red button is and second one is ICSP in circuit serial programming with six pins this next is our USB to serial IC this IC used to convert the data from USB to serial data for us for serial communication and next is our crystal oscillator and here you can see it is our voltage regulator next uh, at bottom you can see capacitors and the main part is our at mega 328 microcontroller and here you can see ICSP in circuit serial, serial programmer this this ICSP used to connect one Arduino Uno board with another Arduino Uno board the same ICSP is also here at the then this ICSP is used for connecting this port with USB and from USB it is used to it will get connected with either computer or some other devices we can use let's, let's move to our next slide it is second part of our electronic component this is our USB plug to computer next one is for 7 to 12, 12 voltage DC power supply in this center one is positive and center pin is positive and outer four is negative and top as we had seen earlier it is debug LED pin 13 and at the below of that pin we have RTX and RX that is tra data transmit and data serial data transmit and serial data receiving purpose and uh, the right side we can see power LED that is whenever the connection our Arduino Uno board is ge will get the power our power LED will get switched on and in this slide we will try to learn our, about the pins so you can see our pin number 0 and pin number 1 is basically used for serial data transmission so pin number 0 which is called RX is used for serial input or as in a receiving pin and TX is used as data output as a data transmitting pin and pin 2 and pin 3 are, are, are used for external interrupts and uh, as you can see from pin 2 to pin 13 digital input output pins and some of the pins are used as pulse width modulation and those pins are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11 and some of the pins are used for SS that is called slave that is used for slave purpose some of the mozi mozi means master out slave in miso miso means master in slave out and miso is pin number 12 is used for miso purpose and um, pin number 11 is used for Mozi purpose and uh, next pin, pin number 13 pin number 13 is used for serial clock and next pin is pin um, ground and uh, left one is analog reference input voltage and uh, next one is SDA pin SDA means serial data line and next to next this means SCL means serial clock line let's move to another slide 
this slide is pin configuration 2 so we can see that rightmost pin is or bunch of some pins means analog input pins from A0 to A5 and A5 is used also used as SCL means serial clock line and A4 is used also used for serial data line and all those pins are, are used for analog input pins and these analog input pins are connected with ADA analog data analog to digital converter ADC and, uh, and after analog input pins there is a bunch of power pins and uh, from we can see that first pin is V in which is called voltage input pin and after that two pins are ground pins and after that uh, we have a 5 volt power pin output and the next 3.3 volt with the maximum current of or with the operating current of 50 mA power pin next is reset pin and uh, next is adopt voltage from the board next is pin reserved for future purpose so one thing I uh, forgot to Uh, here we can see here we have a resettable fuse the purpose of our resettable fuse is whenever the current in our Arduino you know board exceeds from the design value this resettable fuse used to get fuse and the power supply in the Arduino Bruno used to get stop after that when the power supply will get stopped then resettable fuse will reset itself and then after that uh, it will work means uh, it will prevent our Arduino you know, board from extra currents ok friends thanks I have not shown you thank you slides this is my thank you slides bye